Welcome back. Today's topic auto IT or auto eat. Whatever makes you comfortable. So this is an introduction video and this is one of the programming language. Now when we talk about any new programming language we always have three questions. First what is that thing? So auto IT is a freeware it has no cost attached to it. It's a programming language which was designed to automate Windows based application. So that's Auto IT. Now next is how it is going to help you. Now in today's world there's a punchline which goes across the globe saying automation is a king. So you can imagine many many IT companies are trying to automate all the possible products they have. Windows based application products, web based application products, legacy based applications. So all they doing is they are trying to automate things in the possible way and this is the right time. So I would encourage you to learn this and this is something you can put in on your resume to say hey I know automation. Specifically a Windows based or legacy based application I can automate. Now in automation there are different factors you can look at but I'm not gonna speak about that right now I'm gonna make a different video about that now let's have a look at the features <coughs> what Auto ID has number one like I mentioned it's free no cost attached learning is quite easy because of the easy syntax and it has a support for intelligence so it makes our life easy Next is it can recognize Windows controls like the controls which are running on Windows OS like when I make an application uh, in .NET let's say and that application is running on Windows so it's a Windows application. Uh, example a calculator or a notepad it's a Windows application right so uh, it can automatically can interact with them. Now let me give you a bit of an idea what I mean by that is so this is what auto IT you know looks like not this is not the auto ID this is something which recognizes the Windows control so if I hover over the notepad this is the notepad and this is a finder tool if I hover over that you see there's a black highlighter which is highlighting and saying okay I'm able to recognize this control this is a notepad so same way you can pull out calculator or different windows controls maybe made by you or someone else but you can you know recognize those control and then take necessary action so that's the biggest benefit of auto white next is uh, it has a wonderful control over the keyboard or mouse so you can push any keys to the application you can make a left click or right click yeah so that's <coughs> uh, the simulation part next is one of the powerful features it can call any exe from within your program okay or it can call any dll from your application so that's the best part of it imagine you have written some application which uh, goes and fetches some images from the server and puts in and dumps into the directory so you can call that exe within your application and much more you can imagine that depends on how far you go uh, then windows api function you can also call inbuilt windows api function like get the windows height width or open a window close a window get the windows property something like that so inbuilt features that you can access next is uh, it has excellent support for comp components at present uh, recent on my project I worked with the Excel where I used to read and write Excel so it's it's good next uh, one of the biggest feature is when you write a program when you compile a program it generates an exe now this exe is digitally signed I used two or three application to decompile the exe and see what I have written but I could not figure it out so it's safe to use uh, auto it no one can crack your code then it supports 64-bit components so that is also good in case of documentation it has a wonderful site where you can see the list of all the controls it supports all the possible events uh, which you can call up or you can do things about it so it's on there and it has also the excellent active forum where people talk about 
the problems or the new ideas if you can implement them yeah so it's a good one at last the question is is it easy to learn I would say uh, if you try to spend a, a little bit of time I would say uh, a week a, con a week or two constantly on auto -white and try to do programming on simple applications I would say you will find it very easy now here there's some problem the problem is if you don't spend time regular basis see so while troubleshooting the problems things might get a bit tricky you might see some frustration so I would recommend to go with the coding part more often and once you get the hand of it things become very easy and the last problem is exception handling which is not quite uh, you know uh, quite I mean what what's the word I'm looking for uh, it's not quite uh, easy so that is something you have to manage by yourself by writing some smarter code alright so up next I'm gonna show you what are the topics we are gonna cover in this series so far I have planned around 20 to 25 topics I would say the things will go easy stick around I hope to see you in the next video thank you for listening good night and take care